Union leaders are hoping the pressure by Congress on Toyota will help keep the Numi plant in Fremont open. The shutdown next month could have a devastating ripple effect on the Bay Area and California economy. So a blue ribbon panel is meeting right now to study the upcoming closure. Eric Thomas joins us outside that hearing in San Francisco. Eric? And Cheryl Treasurer Bill Lockyer is the driving force behind this Blue Ribbon Commission you're talking about, which hopes desperately to keep the Numi plant from closing down on March 31st. But even Lockyer admits that is a long shot. Still, the commission is holding its first meeting right now in the state building on Van Ness. Officially, it's a fact-finding panel looking at the millions of dollars Fremont, the Bay Area, and the state of California stand to lose if the plant closes down, the 5,000 jobs in the Bay Area that stand to go away if the plant closes down, and other thousands of jobs around California that feed into NUMI. They could also go away. Now, yesterday at the congressional hearing into Toyota's recall that you heard about just a moment ago, the automaker's U.S. president says Toyota is not closing NUMI. NUMI is closing NUMI. It's just impossible to run without GM's help, and GM is no longer taking part. And the panel, of course, desperately trying to make sure no one closes Muni. New me. Uh, we know that uh, they may be determined to do it, but we're going to try everything possible to see if we can persuade them to keep the, can the plant functioning. So what happens after this commission finishes its work? Well, UC Berkeley professor Harley Shaken, who is chairing the commission, will then produce a white paper, and they hope to take that to Tokyo and have a face-to-face -face meeting with Toyota executives about keeping the Numi plant open. Once again, it is scheduled to close March 31st. The hearing going on right now. Numi employees, uh, Numi union officials, all in there, economists, mayors, and uh, even actor Danny Glover is a member of this panel looking into Numi and its scheduled closure on March 31st. We'll let you know how it goes later on on ABC7 News. Live in San Francisco, Eric Thomas, ABC7 News. Eric, thank you.